Hello and welcome to Fire of Learning. I'm Justin. In this video, we'll be discussing the name origins of all 50 states of the United States. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alabama takes its name from the Alabama or Albamaha tribe native to the region. The meaning of the name of this tribe is unclear, but it might mean something like herb gatherers or weed cutters. The name Alaska entered the English language from the Russian Alyaska, referring to the whole peninsula, but its origins are Native American, from the Aleut meaning simply the mainland, or more specifically, the place to which the action of the sea is directed. Arizona, from the Oodum Alisanak, meaning little spring. It may be Basque, however, and mean good oak tree. Arkansas was named after the Arkansas River, the word itself coming from the French version of the Algonquin word, Akansa, which was their name for the Quapaw tribe. California was named by the Spanish. California was a legendary island on which sub-Saharan African women, much like the Amazons, lived and fought under their queen, Calafia. The women were said to have fought alongside the Muslim caliphates, and Calafia's name may be a reference to that. Early explorers may have mistakenly thought that California was an island, and therefore gave it this name. Colorado, where I was born, named by the Spanish after the Rio Colorado, the Colorado River. The word itself means red-colored, a reference to the color of the silt carried from the mountains by the river. Connecticut takes its name from the Mohegan word Quanaticut, meaning place of the long tidal river. Why there is a silent C in the name is not known, though it appears to have been pronounced in the past. It likely dropped off because it's easier to say. Delaware takes its name from Thomas West, 3rd Baron de Loire, Virginia's first colonial governor. According to Florida Man, the name Florida is an ancient alien word, although I couldn't find proof of that, so for now I will tell you that Florida comes from the Spanish La Florida, meaning the land of flowers. However, it's necessary to note that Florida was discovered by the Spanish on Palm Sunday. They referred to the Easter season as a whole as the Festival of Flowers, or the Pascua Florida. Georgia, the last of the 13 colonies to be founded, was named after King George II of Great Britain. The state of Hawaii, a series of islands, takes its name from the largest island. It was possibly named after Hawaii Loa, a figure who possibly existed that is said to have discovered the island, but it may also mean place of the gods, from the Polynesian Hawaiiki. The name Idaho seems to have come from George M. Willing in the 1860s. He claimed that it was a Shoshone word, meaning gem of the mountains, then later admitted he invented that story. It could, however, be an Apache word, meaning place of the enemy, referring to the Comanche. Illinois comes from the French word for the Illinois, who lived in the area. Indiana simply means the land of the Indians. Iowa takes its name from the Iowa peoples. The name meant the sleepy ones, though it was an exonym, and their name for themselves was the Bahoje, meaning gray snow. Kansas is named after the Kansa, which means the people of the wind. Interestingly, Kansas isn't pronounced Kansa because the name came from English speakers. Arkansas, however, isn't pronounced Arkansas because it was named by the French, and retained this original French pronunciation, a little bit like Illinois. The tribe from which we get the names Arkansas and Kansas were related, though, and the states indirectly share the same name origin. Kentucky was named again after the Kentucky River. It likely comes from an Iroquoian language. The Iroquois called the region Kentucky, meaning meadow or prairie. From the French, La Louisiane comes Louisiana, meaning the land of Louis, or more specifically, Louis XIV. Maine was once the name of a province of France, and it's possible that the area was named by French explorers. It's also possible, however, that it was simply a reference to the mainland. Maryland was named after the French-born Queen of England, Henriette Marie, wife of the English king Charles I. She was known as Queen Mary, though she ironically did not like the name Mary, preferring the name Henriette. Henrietta Land, though, is a little bit of a mouthful, though not as much of a mouthful as Massachusetts. Massachusetts probably takes its name from the Wapanoc Muse Wachusut, meaning near the Great Hill, referring to the Great Blue Hill. Michigan comes from the Ojibwe word Michigama, meaning the Great Lake. Minnesota comes from the Dakota word Minnesota, meaning cloudy water or sky water, more properly. Mississippi, as is the norm, was named after the river, not the other way around. It comes from the Ojibwe Mississippi, meaning the Great River. You understand here, of course, that the 
flag has been blocked out because YouTube's genius AI will take it the wrong way and potentially shut down the video. Missouri takes its name from the Missouri Indians, known more properly as the Wemissourita, meaning people of the large canoes. Montana comes from the Spanish montaña, meaning the mountain or the land of the mountain. Nebraska takes its name from Nebraska, from the Chiwara word meaning flat water, referring to the Platte River. Nevada comes from the Spanish Nevada, meaning snow covered, referring to the Sierra Nevada mountain range. New Hampshire was named after the county of Hampshire in England by Captain John Mason, as we discussed in this video. The original Jersey is an island in the English Channel. Today it is a crown dependency of the United Kingdom. New Jersey was named by Charles II. New Mexico was named long before Mexico was a country, and the word simply referred to the region. Spanish explorers gave the region this name in the hope that it would be as bountiful as the lands of the Aztecs. York is a city in northern England, however it is more correct to say that the state takes its name from the Duke of York, at the time being the future King James II. North Carolina was named after King Charles I, with Charles in Latin being Carolus. Unsurprisingly, South Carolina shares the same origin. The province of Carolina was split in two in 1729. North Dakota was named after the Dakota tribe, known more often as the Sioux, the latter being an exonym. Dakota means simply the friendly ones. South Dakota, of course, shares the same origin. On November 2nd, 1899, the Dakota Territory was split into the two states of North and South. Ohio, birthplace of many presidents, astronauts, industries, and YouTube channels. It takes its name from the Ohio River, which itself takes its name from the Seneca, Ohio, meaning either Great River or Good River. Oklahoma takes its name from the Choctaw, Oklahoma, a phrase meaning red people, or Native Americans as a whole. Therefore, Oklahoma is roughly the land of the Native Americans. Oregon's name origin is unclear, but it was likely a name given to the land by the Spanish, from Orejon, with the J later being corrupted into a G. Pennsylvania takes its name from William Penn, who received a royal land grant in 1681. The Sylvania part comes from the Latin silva, or silva, meaning forest, ergo Penn's forest. Despite being called Rhode Island, most of the state is on the mainland. The original Rhode Island, however, is now called Aquidneck Island. It's possible that the island was named after the island of Rhodes, near Anatolia in Greece, or it may be Dutch, from Rodlich Eiland, meaning Red Island. Tennessee was named after a prominent Cherokee village in the area, Tanasi, located on the river of the same name, now known as the Little Tennessee River. Texas originally came from the indigenous Caddo word Teixas, meaning friends. Utah likely takes its name from the Ute tribe. Vermont takes its name from the French Les Monts Verts, meaning the Green Mountains. Virginia takes its name from Elizabeth I, who granted Sir Walter Raleigh a charter to colonize the area. She is often known as the Virgin Queen. There is a West Virginia because West Virginia's residents felt cut off and unrepresented in Virginia's government. They wanted to ban slavery furthermore and remained a part of the Union in the American Civil War, splitting the state permanently in 1863. The state of Washington was quite simply named after George Washington, our first president. Interestingly, it was going to be named Columbia, but the name was considered too similar to the name of the capital, the District of Columbia. So now, instead of getting it confused with Washington, D.C., people get it confused with Washington, D.C. Wisconsin takes its name from the French Wisconsin, which itself referred to the Mescousing River, now the Wisconsin River. It is possible that the word meant something along the lines of Red Rock or Red Water in the Algonquin language. Wyoming's name comes from Wyoming Valley in Pennsylvania, which itself takes its name from the Muncie language, meaning at the Big River Flat. And there we have it, all 50 states. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I invite you to come check out the rest of Fire of Learning and to subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. To help with the cost of production, a donation on Patreon would be a big help. A special thanks to those Patreon supporters listed here. We are also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so come check us out there too. Thank you for watching.